crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. So today I have a thrift haul for you, plus a few free things that I got, plus something from Amazon that I ordered. So let's jump into this real quick. So not sure if you can see it all, but I have baskets. Ba it's, it's all about baskets and tins today, I guess. I don't know. It, that's just how it worked out. But um, I found a bunch of baskets at the Goodwill when I, when I went there the other day. And this basket was one of them. It does have a little piece missing here, but it's in the back and I don't think it's really gonna matter. Um, I'm probably gonna paint this up. I really like the shape of it. It's flat so that, um, you know, I think it can hang on the wall or on a board and be, you know, have a nice bouquet in it or greenery or something like that. Um, or you could use it for mail or whatever you desire, pens, paper, whatever. But um, I really like it because I like the flat part and you can stick things inside there. So it's kind of the theme for today. So anyway, this has got the flat back on it and the hoopty, little hoopty hoop. So I think it could, you know, again, be up on a wall or on a board or whatever, whatever have you. But I really like it. I like the green. Um, and I think it would look really pretty with a nice big bow and some flowers or greenery coming out of the top. I think it would look beautiful. It's a nice big basket too, big, big, deep basket. I really like that. Uh, I got this one as well. Oh, I got this one because I love it. Again, flat back. It's got, the, I love the brown color on it. It's got green and burgundy which um, I think are really pretty. So again, I think this would be great on a wall, hanging on a door. Uh, you could even put it outside of your door. You could put some paper and pen in there for people to leave you notes when you're not home um, or just a pretty bouquet in there again. Um, it's got some kind of red and green stuff on it. Ribbon, I'll take that off and I'll refix this or I'll put a new one on and uh, do something with that. I really, really like this basket. This one, this one actually did, I got it, um, it says 288 on the tag, but I did not get it for 288. Uh, I wouldn't pay that for this because I'm not really thrilled with it, but I kind of like the, kind of like it. It'd be great for spices or sitting on the back of a, um, uh, on a stove with all your spices and salt and pepper in it or uh, on your table, same thing with all your spices in it, um, in your bathroom with your cream and lotions and and soap and uh, or you could roll up towels or fold towels and put those in there. So I just, I liked it for that type of thing. So you could display some things um, and uh, so I got it for, it, it was 288, but I got it for half off, so. Got that. This one I am really excited about, and I think I paid full price for this. Um, this is a lantern, and it's actually brass. Uh, it, it has the hanger part here. It would hang up and hang, um, you know, this would attach to like the ceiling and hang down. I'm gonna take all the innards out leave this hook on here and probably make a base for it and have it standing. Um, but I paid $6 for this and I'm pretty sure I paid the whole $6 for this. I don't believe this was on sale at all, but I loved it. I hemmed and hawed over it and uh, wasn't sure if that's something that I wanted, but yeah, I definitely am glad that I picked it up, but it is heavy. It is definitely brass and I definitely want to do something fun with it. So I can't wait to work on that. Um, this other thing that I got, this was in Goodwill as well. It's got a little wire hanger on it. This is a blueberry, it's supposed to be like a blueberry picker. It's just decor. It's not actually a blueberry picker, but it's shaped like one. Um, this was $3 and uh, yeah, so. Got that, can't wait to do that. I've done a few of these before in the past. They've come out awesome, I really like them. So I can't wait to do something with this one as well. Um, these two, these came separately. This is a, uh, just a plastic um, pro, Prolon 
plate and then this this really cool shaped mug I guess or a pitcher I guess it would be a pitcher um, it's really pretty it's old looking um, and this was two dollars and this was a dollar and I saw these near each other they weren't together but I thought they would look great um, painted up together so that they would match and you know do some primitive decor I've done this before I uh, put it in my Etsy shop and it sold so I want to make sure that I if people like this kind of thing that I want to get this out there again so I may do something with this as well the same similar to what I did before so there's that now these were freebies these were freebies given to me from a friend didn't want them anymore and they're all different shapes and sizes all like a popcorn tin this is an old one this is really an old looking one it's got styrofoam on it um but pretty cool christmasy one this one's smooth so i can definitely um paint this over if i want to take you know get rid of the christmas this is a nice big bucket it's got animals on it. this one's smooth as well so i can paint this one up and there's more inside guys so, there's this one here, big gold, gold cookie tin. And then here's one here. Let's see if there's one in there. <gasps> there is one in there. It's plastic, but that's okay. Look at that. There's one hiding inside there. So that's pretty cool. Actually, those are the stacking tins. And then, oh, look at that one. Wow, is that colorful? It's a little bit out of shape, but there's the cover for it. Wow, is that colorful? Look at that, guys. So, and that's a pretty big one. And then this one, of course, is really big. Really big. And they all have covers. Um, they were just taking off some of them so that they would fit inside here. But, wow. Awesome. I don't think any of these other ones have any in them, but so cool. What an awesome freebie to be given. Um, you know, I know some people see these and they're like, oh, just get rid of them. I can find all kinds of things to do with these. And I know a few things that I've done with them for primitive decor with a candle and stuff in the middle. And I've even put feet on the bottom so they'll stand up. Um, you could do stacking tins, kind of like this one here, paint them all primitive colors, tie them all together, um, put words on them. You could do that kind of thing. Um, you know, big ones like this would make a nice, take the lid off um, and put a shelf in here and maybe one on the bottom and use them on the wall to hang, you know, your little kitschy things, your little decor. Um, things like that. That would be pretty neat. So, um, and I don't even know this big one. Like, I don't know, but I'm just so happy to have it. I'm so excited. This is awesome. So I have those. Next, I have something that I got off Amazon that I wanted to show you guys. Okay, some of you may have noticed that in my community tab, I've been posting Amazon links with special deals uh, in my community tab. Uh, I was doing that to start off with because Amazon, in order, you have to have a qualifying amount of purchases or clicks on your Amazon account to keep it um, for your affiliate account so that you can make a, you make a little bit of money from it whenever there's a sale. They, they contacted me, said that I was going to be shut off within 90 days if I didn't have a qualifying amount of purchases or clicks on my affiliates uh, links. So I decided to start posting some deals that I saw that I thought would be relevant to the crafting community, things that you guys might like. And luckily it started before Christmas and some of you had taken advantage of that and gotten um, some maybe gifts 
for Christmas or even for yourselves, whatever, um, and you have helped me achieve my affiliate status with Amazon. So now I'm in the clear, thank you so much. Um, I've made it and uh, I'm still going to post, maybe not as much, but I'm going to post things that I think are really good deals on there for, that's like I said, that's you know up the crafting alley of people that watch my crafting channel. So from one of those posts on my community tab, um, I purchased, a wreath that I saw on there. It was 50% off and I thought it was beautiful. And because it's in the middle of winter right now, uh, it's cold and just, just everything's white and drab and yucky. Uh, I decided I wanted to buy this to brighten up a room in my house to um, just make me feel a little better knowing that spring is coming uh, and that the green is coming with it. So I thought this was really pretty. It was 50% off and I decided to purchase it and see what it was really like. So I wanted to show you guys from opening the box to right here what it would look like. It was a little bit mushed. It was very mushed because it was in a box like this and it was all packaged up and actually in another box, came in two boxes, but it was all mushed up. So when I got it, I just took it and fluffed it up and it, it's really stuck on there nicely because none of them fell off. I thought, oh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna start falling off. Um, they really didn't. And then the back is what this looks like. It's one of those, um, what do you call that? Grapevine wreath uh, circles. So um, that's what they're attached to and it looks like wire they're attached with. But isn't that really pretty? These are all plastic um, and the leaves they're like eucalyptic sleeves, I guess, and they feel like, um, those don't feel like plastic. They kind of feel like a vinyl, vinyl-y kind of material. But the, these whiter colored ones feel like plastic. They remind me of hydrangeas, which are my favorite flower, one of my favorites. I have many. Um, but I really, really thought it was so pretty. And I could have probably made this, but I wanted to see purchasing from the affiliate link, um, what it would be like, you know, what, what, how the process would go. And this, this is, this is it. This is the wreath. And I'll tell you, it was just over $10 guys. It wasn't a lot of money. And I think it's going to brighten up a room. You could even use it flat and put something in the middle of it. I think that would look really cool. Um, so I wanted to show you how neat this was, and it's pretty good quality for a little over $10. Um, I think it's really good quality, very nice. So if you're interested in it, it's still in my affiliate link, I, in my community tab. I've been uh, checking it, checking all of them every day to make sure if they run out, uh, if they're out of stock, that I delete that link so that um, people don't go on there and click needlessly. Um, so, and if there's anything that you're interested in seeing, let me know down in the comments if you're looking for something in particular. I might be able to find it. Um, sometimes you can do that. So, and I could, I could link that for you um, in the community tab. So it's something that you could purchase if you'd like. So anyway, I would just like to thank you guys, all of you that have clicked and that have purchased from that affiliate link. There's no extra charge for you to do that. Um, it's just a little something that we get from Amazon for uh, just putting it out there to you guys so that you find these great deals. So anyway, with that said, that's all I have for you today. Look for these things in future videos for uh, me redoing them. And it's going to be soon because I really need to get some stuff up on my Etsy account. So I need to get my brain back in gear so that I can figure out... Um, what I want to do with these to get them back up there um, or to get them up onto the, um, onto my Etsy shop. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day.